Was it okay? Everybody got perfect score? But at least you understood that uh, what you have to know, right? Through the uh, quiz. The basic concept is really what I, what I have emphasized and what I think you have to know very well. Because as I said before, the I mean, mathematical derivation and or numerical calculation can be done when you have a time. But concept is normally obtained by I mean how much how much time you really work on. So you have to think of in, in various way what is the sound pressure, what what it means by propagation and so on and so on. So let me continue to uh, talk about the acoustic uh, measures. One is pressure and velocity and density. Right? Uh, and we would like to know the also the energy and intensity so intensity especially the power transmitted through unit surface Okay. And acoustic energy has two parts. One is acoustic kinetic energy, and the other one is acoustic potential energy. The acoustic kinetic energy is, and acoustic potential energy is. And the relation between acoustic energy and intensity is rate of change of acoustic energy has to be balanced by acoustic intensity flux. Okay. It is obvious that if we consider certain volume, and if you think about how much energy this volume can store, that would be like this. E, that is the energy per unit volume. And the volume of this, S, multiply by the x, y. Energy coming in would be p. Power coming in would be pu at x. Power coming out would be pu x plus dx. And the rate of energy increase per unit time is this, has to be balanced net energy in minus net energy out, that is minus gradient of acoustic power or intensity. Okay, note that. I is PU, that is beta. Okay, this physical quantity 
is very interesting because that is a p multiplied by u. u is the velocity. And recall the acoustic impedance or driving point impedance, that is z is p over u, that is not vector quantity, but it's the ratio between pressure and u, certainly express the relation between force and velocity, or in other words, the relation between input and output. Right? So when we look at driving point impedance for the string, for infinite string, driving point impedance is look like that. And for the finite string, the driving point impedance look like this, right? And we studied the meaning of this driving point impedance, when that is rho A zero C, rho zero C is the characteristic impedance of a string. Or generally, we can say that is characteristic impedance of medium. In other words, if driving point impedance is the same as the characteristic impedance of a medium, then the sound or wave is propagating away from the excitation point. And in this case, the driving point impedance has only real part. On the other hand, when we have a finite string, the driving point impedance has only imaginary part. That means the, there, is a very, there is a phase difference between pressure and velocity. Right? There is a phase difference between pressure and velocity. If this is purely imaginary, is when I excite a one end of a string with pressure P, then the velocity always have phase difference of 90 degree. In this case, when I excite the string, and I push the force this way, the velocity of a string moves the same direction as I push the string. But this one has phase difference. Okay? So driving point impedance certainly expresses how the wave is propagating. Even though that measures the characteristic at one point. That's the significance. But note that intensity physically indicates how the wave is propagating. Because intensity essentially says the way, the way of energy per unit time, that is power, is propagating. 